Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be reviewing tips for replacing spark plugs on this 2015 Toyota RAV4. It's a front wheel drive with a 2.5 liter engine. If you haven't done so already, please check out my video, Secrets for Planning and Auto Repair. Now let's get started. Okay, so you might ask, what are some of the most common signs of bad spark plugs? Well, they include startup trouble, rough idling, sluggish acceleration, declining fuel economy, engine misfiring, and engine knocking. Now let's quickly go over our supply list. Today I'll be recommending the Denso spark plug. That's the Iridium TT spark plug grease. And also recommending the Denso ignition coil for vehicles with over 150,000 miles. We'll be using a regular socket, spark plug socket with an extension and a ratchet. And the rest of the items can be found in the description below. Let's go ahead and access the spark plugs. First thing we're going to do is disconnect the negative battery cable. Highly recommend that. Then we're going to remove this cover. This is an inline four engine and we have the four spark plug coil packs with electronic connectors which, is, which are visible right now. So one, two, three, and four. So what we're gonna do is remove this 10 millimeter bolt like so. We're gonna remove this electronic clip like that. We're gonna pull out the coil and we're gonna inspect this coil. What I'm looking for is corrosion on the spring that connects to the spark plug. As you can see, this is in good shape. We'll be looking at the dust cover to make sure that the dust cover is secure. You see there are two tabs holding the dust cover in place. Inspect the coil for any cracks. This one looks like it's in really good shape. Place off to the side. Next, we're gonna take our ratchet extension and our um, spark plug socket, and we're gonna remove the spark plug. Okay, just that easy. Take out the spark plug. So, what are we looking for here? This is a really high quality Denso Iridium spark plug. The electrodes are in good shape. If you look closely, there's one tip on this side underneath, and then there's one tip right there. And check out the, um, the picture on the video and you can see the, how these parts are described. But this plug is in pretty good shape. One of the things I want to observe is the condition of the insulator, making sure there's no cracks. If I were to replace this plug right now, which I'm going to demonstrate, which is I'm going to simply put some dielectric grease right here and I'm going to rub it on here. And what that's going to do is two things. One, it's going to, if there was a very small crack, it's going to prevent the spark plug from arcing inside this coil, okay? Secondly, what it's going to do, when I put that grease on there, it's going to highlight any cracks that may be on there. And there's a crack, that means this plug is faulty and should be replaced because you could have arcing out the side instead of only arcing at this location. At this point, we're gonna talk about gapping. If you're gonna gap these plugs, these are special plugs, you either wanna use the coin-shaped gapping tool or the flat blade type tool. And look in the video and I provided a description of each. Now let's go ahead and reinstall this plug. Here, the gap's already been checked and it's going back in. I don't know if you heard that, but I think the spark plug fell off the end of the socket. You want to try to avoid that. You notice I'm tightening. Anything that you attach to the engine block, you always want to tighten by hand at first. And I believe these get about 13 foot-pounds of pressure. You're going to turn them less than an eighth of an inch, quarter inch. You're just seating the plug. Shake and remove the socket. Pretty straightforward. Now, I already I have my coil pack that's already been inspected. I'm going to reinstall it. I have my 10 millimeter bolt. Notice that I'm tightening it by hand first to get it started. 
Okay? Never use a power tool initially. Then I have my electronic connector. There we go. I have my power tool set at about three pounds. That's it. Now, if I wanted to replace all of my spark plugs, I could do the, repeat that same process at this location, right here and right here. Install the engine cover. There you go. Reinstall the negative terminal on the battery cable. Well, folks, that just about wraps up the spark plug replacement on this 2015 Toyota RAV4. I hope you found my tips to be helpful. Please drive defensively and we'll see you soon.